Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, remains somewhat of a mystery to us. It's a missing piece in our understanding of the evolution of our solar system, but a piece that presently doesn't seem to fit the jigsaw. Well, Mercury is really a weird planet. Normal terrestrial planets, all the rest, have a relation between how big they are and how dense they are. Mercury is not following that rule. It's much more dense than what you would expect for its size. That is not normal. So something went wrong in the formation of Mercury that we don't know. Mercury was first studied by the Mariner 10 mission in 1974 and since 2011 by the NASA probe MESSENGER. Mapping the surface in detail, MESSENGER has picked up signs of ancient volcanoes and of a cooling inner layer. Yet so much remains to be discovered. To increase our understanding of this mysterious planet, in 2015 Europe will launch BepiColombo, the first dedicated mission to Mercury. Construction and testing of the spacecraft is well underway at the European Space Agency's Research and Technology Centre in the Netherlands. The project is a joint mission with the Japanese and the spacecraft is divided into two probes, each with the job of studying different aspects of Mercury to gain a more complete picture. What scientists want to do is try to understand the nature of the planet itself, what material is on the surface, we would like to measure temperatures, we would like to see the interaction with the solar wind. Then Mercury has a magnetic field, which is like Earth, a dynamo field. We would like to understand that. In the past, because of its proximity to the Sun, it's been difficult for Earth-based telescopes to observe Mercury against the ferocious solar light. What we do know points to a forbidding world pockmarked with craters. Mercury for us is a planet of ex extremes. So you have temperature like 400, 450 degrees on the surface during the day. And imagine that's like being in a pizza oven on Earth. So it's really hot there and temperatures at about minus 175 during the night. Mercury also follows an odd elliptical orbit, on the one hand passing within 47 million kilometers of the Sun and then swinging out to 70 million kilometers. Another mercurial paradox is the contrast between the speed of its orbit around the Sun and its slow rotation around its own axis. On Mercury, days last longer than years, with one day lasting up to 176 Earth days and a year only 88 Earth days. BepiColombo should reach its destination in 2022 after a long journey avoiding the gravitational grasp of the Sun as it passes. Having arrived, its observations of Mercury should offer new insights into the workings of extrasolar planets in other solar systems. These planets, which like Mercury, are formed in very close proximity to their parent star, the Sun, are a hot topic in planetary science and astronomy at the moment. We have a, a theory to understand how planetary systems form. Now, the theory was based on explaining the solar system, and it was fine, it worked. But now, when we have discovered new planets around other stars in, in the galaxy, the extrasolar planets, they don't fit at all. So something is wrong. And the special cases, those that are difficult to understand in the details, like Mercury, are very helpful. What happened to Mercury? Why is it so dense? And how did its orbit evolve? BepiColombo, by finding answers to some of these questions, could deliver some really revealing insights into how our solar system formed 4.5 billion years ago.